This is the place. Here we go. Let's do this shit. You can grab a transport at the hitching post there. Then you'll be able to reach the other side of the river. about the laser being me. How that staggers you that bad. Great.
that. I did not avoid that though. Oh shit. Not again, Jesus, he's spamming that move. He's really milking that OPS shit. That is so cheesy. Doing it again? Are you joking? You can do it. We can He's do doing it. it again. No matter what happens, I'll be here for you. We're an unbreakable team. I am piercing pod the fuck out of here. Give me them hands, bitch. Give me them hands. Give me them hands. Again. What a bastard. Well, I've never seen him do it that many times. In like, in two minutes. Like four times in two minutes. Three minutes. That's a lot of times. For some reason, he he fell on the floor where I could have got a lot of damage off of him. That's just great. gonna be able to loot it. Fuck, he's not letting me. Oh, 
sharper my blade at least. Landed if he actually had a tape. I know your shit, I ain't gonna fucking lose this time. The shit ends here. You bastard. Five hundred damage on him. Are you joking me? Oh, give me dragon pods. What's happening? I'm getting I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this. Give me that shit. Damn it, you destroyed it.
it. Again. Yes. Slinger bomb pods are pretty good. Do I got them? Where did where did they go? Did the cat take them? What a bastard! I don't want to go in there because it's awful everywhere. I feel like that wasn't worth it. Maybe that's the slinger bomb ammo right there. I need to get it. Where'd it go? Whatever. We got our weapon. I see some shit over here. Let's get this shit. Slinger bomb. Give me that unknown material. Give me the fucking unknown material, bro what I want. Alright, I'm gonna just use all my bombs. I don't care. I don't care. We're using all my bombs. Got you, bitch. Dragon treasure. That's that one piece treasure, dude. I dropped them. We did it. Let's get our hits in. Oh my god, I'm so close to getting the massive damage. Dude, how much health does this thing have? It's insane. insane because I've done like 5,000 damage to him at least. I don't see any skull emblem going. I don't know. Let's get this whatever this is dragon pods.
What the? Oh, he's in a rage. He is super pissed. I will not die by that shit ever again. Oh, dude, I got so lucky here. Bitch. Let me get on you. Let me do it. Ugh. We did it. Piece of shit. Here we go. Shell. Tail. Claw. Scale. Horn. Shell. 
bro. What a fucking monster. Let's look at his head. Let's take a picture. Yeah. Screenshot. I really need to make screenshots. Oh, man. Shit, what's happening? Uh oh. No way. Oh, what a G. He comes out of nowhere to get my ass. Like last second. Dude, that was like an hour fight. Jesus Christ. What is it with you? All you ever do is sleep and fall off things. So how awesome were you down there? Stop Too being awesome? annoying. <laughs> Glazing. Yes. <laughs> well, good morning. <clears throat> Thanks to you, the Research Commission's work is complete. I sent a ship ahead to report back to the Guild. They'll relieve us just as soon as they confirm our findings. Everyone, I commend you all for your valiant efforts here. And now, let us celebrate! To Bankway! Talk about that monster. Well, we did it. You know, after we crash landed here, I started to wonder if I made the right choice. But the new world was all the adventure I wanted and more. Uh. Oh, she made it. I'm just gonna say hi. Come on. <laughs> May I? <sighs> If not for you, I might not be alive. Thank you. You have quite the eccentric group here. But all of them talented, unique, driven. <laughs> you all seem willful of your own mind. But when the time comes, you join together and become a force to be reckoned with. I suspect there is no trial you could not collectively overcome. I'm 
monster that's been incubating in bioenergy. Hmm. Lurking so close yet hiding so well. Perhaps it was what first drew the aging elders here to satisfy its cravings for energy. Could be right. Hmm? Maybe it used some sort of pheromone or something. Eventually, the land became rich with nutrients. The perfect home for tough monsters. The energy smorgasbord must be why the elders inhabit the recess. Huh, you know. We're lucky you stopped that thing. Would have been a disaster if it left its nest. Well then, three cheers for you. No. I think you should keep it. Damn right. Listen up, everyone. We've received word from the Guild. The Guild commends you for your dedicated research of the Elder Crossing. In light of your findings, we have confirmed the monster as a new species of Elder Dragon. An official name has been chosen. Zeno Jiva. This concludes your duties with the Research Commission. We thank you again for your service. You are free to return home at your discretion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. However, the Commission's presence in the New World still has potential to be of great benefit to the Guild. We would ask you to continue your work there, if you are so willing. There you have it. If we decide to stay and take on new research, there are bound to be trials ahead. Dangers. You don't want that, do you? What are you talking about? Of course that's what we want. Let's stay! We can do it! Yeah, we want it. All right. Commission, welcome to your new home. Yeah! Hmm. I better pack on some weight. This is going to be hard work. She said, I got to get some gains. So that was the main, the main game. So now we can enter the DLC. Fucking finally. Let's get started on it. I won't stay on that much long, but I want to at least get started on the DLC. See what we got going. Credits? These credits are fucking high class. Dude, this cred this credit scene is really good.
Oh shit, what's all this? What's all this? <laughs> yeah. Hey! Ah, how's it going? What's up, you cuck? What's up, motherfucker? <laughs> Look who's here. What's up, baby? I knew it was only a matter of time. You ready to shake things up? Yeah, shake them cheeks. The new world awaits. Let's get hunting. <laughs> shake them cheeks on this dick. Hunter rank cap has been removed. Solve the mystery of the Elder Crossing, Sapphire Star. I am now at Hunter rank 16. Nice. A major new expedition is about to begin. Let's see, my chair is kind of. A Laguania has been sighted in the ancient forest. Talk to Festi Fiverr near the main gate of Astria to go on a new investigation. A Lagania, what the fuck is that? Monster Hunter World Iceborne. All right, exit tutorial. Yes. The field teams gathered at the main gate. Seems like they're getting ready to go out on an expedition in the forest. But before we do any of that jazz, let's refill my supplies and then let me go to the workshop. Restock. Craft list. Mega potions. Let's make as many as possible. Actually, what am I doing? There we go. Restock again. Okay. Workshop. Have you met the old gal from the first? She's a shining star, that one. I could never live as brightly as her. Alright, Sapphire Star, what it'll be. Let's see what we fucking got. Okay, so Xenoblade armor. Holy shit. What's this do? Okay, so it's pretty good. Um, it's just very weak against fire and dragons. Let's see, I can make gauntlets. What gauntlets am I wearing right now? Okay, Gante. know which set I should go with A or B I really don't know let's look at the skill info see I don't need that ammo shit blight resistance of all elemental blights critical boost is good though I feel like critical boost is pretty gnarly. Flint free, I like that. Slightly increased the duration of weapon power. Weapons are power up. Wait, that's actually good. Holy shit. What the fuck? Bro, no one cares about blight resistance. Power prolonger, what's that? 
I see. Fuck it, let's go with this one. Let's make the gauntlets and let's rock them. Equip. They don't really match my set, but we'll get there. We'll get there. What about weapons? This shit looks sick. Holy cow. That looks insane. Holy shit, that looks crazy. What weapon is this? 300 dragon damage, bro. Leviathan's Fury, that thing looks insane. Holy cow. King Thunder Sword, okay. Pretty cool. If I want a crazy ice weapon, ooh, Xeno, what the fuck? Xeno Malik. Holy shit, that's actually sick. That looks like a fucking Final Fantasy weapon. Oh, that's sick. So I have to get this sword up it to here. Alright. That's really sick. What about dual blades? What they got on the dual blades? Claws. Double axes. Ooh, that looks sick. The holy sabers. Those look cool. Dark rippers. Kirin bolts, fire and ice. What? You could do a mix, both ice and blast. That's sick. Xeno blades. Those look. Those look cool. Xeno rags. All right. Stick to our great swords for now. Great weapons. Um, wait, 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 there's an exclamation mark. Uh, it'll run down there. We'll manually do this. Let's get every exclamation mark we can. Mm -hmm. Ha, I've been waiting for you, Hunter. We have something to talk about. As you may know, the fearsome Teostra calls the Elder Reese as its home. <laughs> However, we receive reports of its presence in the Wild Spire Waste, which is odd that it has left the Elder Reese's once more. Something is going on. That something is why the commander has ordered the best of the fifth you, Hunter, to go out and investigate. Your handler has the details. The quest is called Blazing Sun. Okay, poster joined special assignments, the blazing sun. Special assignments involve objectives different from the research commission main mission of solving the elder crossing. Speak to the characters of a blue exclamation to advance the special assignments. Special assignments give you special rewards once they've been completed. Interesting. Okay, what about the commander? How long has it been since I first came to this continent? 
After all these years, I finally achieved what I set out to do, and I have you to thank for that. A picture of fair winds, grace, and the fifth fleet's banner, and that's what the fifth has become for us. But you are more than that, Hunter. To me, you're the sapphire star that adorns the first fleet's banner. When the youth in the story rode um, out into the dark sea, he was looking for a light as strong as yours. And just as the sapphire star led him to what he sought, you have done the same for us. Thank you. You see, night upon night, I looked up to try and find my star, but here it was down on earth all along. Thank you, truly. I may be your commander, but today, friend, it's you I salute. Damn. She got deep. Ah, the Sapphire Star. Just a hunter we're looking for. Puris. You have to come back to the research base as us. The old Linthian expert lady wants to talk to you. You see, we're out on a, on a safari when suddenly a tail rider we've never seen before joined and follows us back to the base. It's got a really scary face, even scarier than yours, but it didn't try to eat us or anything. The old expert lady didn't know what to make of it, so we came here to find someone that could help. But the stereo is pretty big and everyone's so tall. Thank goodness you found us first. Peary's Hunter, let us a uh, Paul when you come back to the research base with us. Okay. Okay, we'll go check that out soon. Wait, not yet. Not yet. I check everything else. What's this? How are you doing? Serious handler. Oh hey, how's the hunt? The, how goes the hunting? Me? I'm about to head off to the wild spire. My partner told me he spotted something strange out there, so I'm getting ready to check it <laughs> out. He said it was some kind of animal that's uh, not an animal. I don't know. He's a strange one, don't ask. He thinks it's something that's not from this world. He won't shut up about it, so I figured I'd go amuse hey. him. Hey, if you're not doing anything, I wouldn't mind the company. I prepared the quest called A Visitor from Another World. If you're interested in tagging huh. along, I figure if that creature is anything like he described, it might turn out into a pretty nice adventure. Exclamation mark. Let's get that. Oh. oh, hey there. Well, this is quite a find. Do you know what it is? It's called a streamstone, but oh, that this is incredibly simply fascinating. I sense an indescribable power inside it. I might be able to use it in my building. If you're feeling a little brave, why don't you try tossing into the pot with one of your <laughs> decorations? Just keep in mind that I don't have the faintest idea what kind of decoration will pop in the end, so don't be disappointed. Let's see, I don't want to mess with any fucking decorations right now. What I do is want to cultivate. Can you find deals like these? Let's see here, what, what, let me get some honey. Talk to those dudes after I go over here to the third fleet. Many thanks, Hunter. Let's head out right now. Right meow. Alright. Oh, the music just changed. It just got dark as fuck. Oh shit, there it is. That thing looks fucked in the head. Oh, 
Hunter, I'm glad you're here. Do you see that curious creature over there? Yeah. It suddenly showed up out of nowhere. It must have followed the Tail Raider Safari in the ancient forest and made its way back here. I've tried to figure out what it could be, but I've given up. I haven't got a clue. It doesn't even speak. I'm beginning to doubt that it's from this world, or that it's even living, for that matter. Whatever it is, it's outside my area of expertise. It's best the commander was informed of this. I'll send a feline to fetch him right away. Mind staying around here until he arrives? A peculiar case, to say the least. I'm interested to see what comes of it. Mm. I see. I think I understand the situation. Fuck. <laughs> Though I'm not really sure what to make of it just yet. Just to be safe, we shouldn't get too close. But judging from the look of it... None of its features seem to resemble anything close to what we know as a living creature. Are you saying that this creature could have come from another world? <sighs> Seems like a lot of that going around lately. I believe we might find the answer to that in the ancient forest, where it was first spotted. There are too many unknown factors that exceed our knowledge. We need to conduct this investigation with extreme caution. It seems it might take a while to get to the bottom of this. If only there were someone who knew exactly what this was. Oh shit. Dude, this is some Lord of the Rings shit. Not again. Portal. Geralt? I wonder why I hate him. What? Wait. What the You don't fuck? see me as a threat? Where am I? What the fuck? The New World. The Third Fleet's research base, to be more specific. And you are? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Was tracking a monster through the forest when... Well... I was transported here of a sudden. Must have been magic of some kind that brought me to this world. <laughs> Great. What the fuck? Magic? In our world? This is like something out of a fairy tale. What you're saying is hard to believe. But after what we've just witnessed, I don't think we have a choice. What? A necker? Well, well. Quite familiar with those. How'd that one even get here? Holy shit. It came from the ancient forest. If we head there, maybe we can find clues to why you and the Necker came to our world. However, I fear monsters from another world might be beyond what the research commission is capable of handling. Tell you what, happened to be a monster slayer of sorts myself, so... Venture to say I could take care of your problem in the woods. At a price, of course. This is insane, dude. I Deal. did not expect this. How did this collab even happen? I never knew about All right. this. Let's go over what we know. This is amazing. First, this creature is called a Necker, and it is not from our world. They got the Witcher 3 music playing. Second, the Necker was somehow transported from its world to the ancient forest. And third, what caused this Necker and our Witcher friend here to come to our world remains unknown. Beast probably dropped through a portal like I did. A different one. Wound up in this ancient forest of yours. Worth looking into, I'd say. Anything else I should know? Doesn't matter how trivial you think it might be. Now that you mention it, there have been reports of an unusually large number of revultures recently. They're scavenger birds with black feathers. Scavenger birds? <laughs> Sounds fun. The Commission will provide support in whatever way we can. 
I've already sent researchers ahead to investigate the matter. If you cross paths in the forest, don't hesitate to ask for their help. Thanks. Normally, I'd have you handle assignments like this. But given what we know of the situation, I'm leaving this one in the Witcher's hands. <laughs> Which doesn't mean we can just sit around. It's our job to make sure the Witcher has everything he needs to get to the bottom of this. Yes, sir. Let me handle this one, Hunter. Promise I'll tend to it right away. Bro. What? Do you want to help Garrett of Rivia? You get to play as Garrett of Rivia? Equipment for this quest is predetermined. You can only keep quests, reward items, meal effects are lost upon departing. This will not count towards the guild cards. What the? Let's do it. What the fuck? Where did Witcher senses if you find any red tracks? I'm doing a quest as Geralt. Okay. X does the ing Igni sign. Okay. Why is my head. Commission leave? member. Should talk to him. My bees. Oh, I can do the fucking bubble shield. Okay, potions. I got a lot of potions. I got an insane amount of potions. This is ridiculous. All right. Good to see you. Pleased to meet you, Master Witcher. And one of the commission smith. I'm one of the commission smithies. The commander ordered me to set up shop here, and make sure you have whatever you need at your disposal. I'm not sure if you have if you have weapons like this where you're from, but I put them together. A selection of some of the best we've got. Be careful. If you want to change equipment, any equipment, come see me. Let's see what what great swords you got. Witcher, sword and shield. I see. We're just gonna do sword and shield because it's the Witcher's silver sword. And the shield is not even an ad. It's just the bubble shield. <laughs> this is great. Alright. Oh, B is a shield attack. Interesting. Never seen anything like this before. Wonder what kind of potion you could make with it. Ancient forest, huh? Easy place to get lost, looks like. Should follow the map. Try to find the commission members. Meet up the chief botanist. Meet up the endemic life researcher. All right, well here goes one. A of commission them. member could know something. That monster mangled pretty bad, from what I can see. You got that right, huh? Wait a sec. Aren't you? Geralt, I'm a witcher. See a lot of dead bodies in my line of work. Right, the Witcher guy. The commander said you'd be around. If there's anything I can do to help, just say the word. Actually, need to learn about the recent strange happenings in the forest. Got a feeling that carcass could be linked. You might be right. I've never seen monsters leave their prey looking like this. Like to check the body if you don't mind. Let's have a look. It's like the game. <laughs> it's like played Witcher 3. What? <laughs> what is this? Is this part of Iceborne DLC? I'm so confused. Examine the head. Herbivore. Gotta be. Judging by the shape of its head. That's right! It's called an Aptonoth. Very docile. They usually travel in herds. All of them this big? Quite the feast for a predator. Yeah, they're actually a favorite among the larger monsters, and, um, well, us too. You could say they are quite tasty. 
Uh, but yeah. It's not uncommon to see an Abdenoth carcass lying around here and there. Examine the body. Body is riddled with puncture wounds. Yeah, by something small and pointy. Bird's beaks, lots of them. Looks like a whole flock attacked it. Broken bones, swollen muscles. It was running away from something. Collapsed here. Abdenoth will only run if they feel threatened. The whole herd will run to a safer location. No other Abdenoth around. Whatever attacked this one waited until it had separated from the herd. Clever. So, seems a flock of birds attacked it after it was separated from the herd. Ran for its life while being pecked at, dropped dead here. It's so strange. I've never seen these birds prey on living monsters. It's just unheard of. Gonna search the area, see if I can find more clues. Okay, I'll be around here if you need anything. Should search around the body. Might find the tracks of whatever did this. <laughs> it's doing everything like in The Witcher 3, the way it just... Feathers, black, from the birds that attacked the Abdenoth, gotta be. And my Witcher senses are active. Just need to follow these. Should find where it was first attacked. All right, this is amazing. Let's see. There's fetters here. Let me mine this shit. Interesting, this ore. Wonder if it'd be of any use in alchemy. A little more fetters over here. I gotta keep investigating the fetters. Oh wait, there they are. Black feathers. And the markings? Same as on the previous corpse. Fox seems to be attacking as one. No use trying to pick them off one by one. Oh shit. Could incinerate them all with Igni though. Don't see any other way. Sometime later. You okay, Witcher, sir? I'm fine. Seems the black birds are the culprits. Revultures. They're scavenger birds that enjoy large monsters' leftovers. They're usually harmless. I can't believe they would attack a living Aptonoth. Anything else out of the ordinary? Notice anything else in the forest recently? Anything out of the ordinary? Come to think of it, I think I spotted a new form of endemic life. It was just once, at night. It ran away when it saw me, though. Necker could be. Small humanoid creature, ugly smirk on its face. Got lucky. Would have attacked you in the blink of an eye if it thought for a moment it was stronger than you. Now that you mention it, it had something on its face, around its mouth, like it had just eaten something. This forest is teeming with life. There's an intricate food chain here that is constantly revolving. I wonder if that Necker lost its need to attack anything because it was able to find plenty to eat without doing so. Pretty bold hypothesis, though it would explain why this one wasn't aggressive. They usually are. I haven't seen it in a while, though. I wonder where it scurried off to. Might have sensed my presence. Danger. Run off somewhere. Once I'm gone, it could come crawling back. If it does, I'll send for our best hunter to capture it. Why this profession? Mind my asking why you chose this line of work? I've always loved critters ever since I was little. That, and it's easy peasy. I'll spare you the details, but long story short, one day I went out looking for frogs, lizards, and snails, and the next thing I knew, I was out here. Just like magic, don't you think? I owe it all to my partners in research for always being so patient with me. 
see where you're coming from. Got folk like that in my world, in my life, too. They're too good to me. My life wouldn't be what it is today without them. Those birds attacked me, too. Any idea why they suddenly turned aggressive? To be honest, I'm just as clueless as you. Unless... there was some kind of external factor? Something significant enough to cause a sudden change in the ecosystem? Something that nudged them to the brink of starvation, for instance? Exactly! It didn't seem like that was the case, though. Did you see how they were flying? Completely in unison! It was like... one... big... flock monster! I've been out here in the forest researching endemic life longer than I'd like to admit, but I've never seen them do that. It was as if something was manipulating them. Take care now. Be careful out there, Witcher. Dude, I'm wondering what type of crazy... Here is day. This is the work of something that wields magic. Powerful magic. Need to figure out what it is. Should try to find another commission member. How do I even do that? Alright. Let's meet up with the chief botanist. I wonder what type of crazy monster we're gonna fight in here. I can't believe they have the Witcher in this as a DLC. Oh my god. And I love The Witcher. I love The Witcher 3 in general. Commission member. Should be one in this area. What do we have here? Hmm, a journal. Notes run margin to margin. Must belong to one of the commission members. Need to look around, look for clues. All right. Long stride, deep prints. Took off in a panic. Footprints lead deeper into the woods. Wonder what spooked them. We better hurry. He could be surviving for his life right now. Tracks all over the place. Hmm. Something pounce on them, they get attacked. Need to look around some more. Another journal. Same researchers, judging by the handwriting. Researcher must have been chased into this cave. Medallions humming up a storm. Magic in the air. Gotta be. Tree roots. All extending in one direction. Reaching out for something, looks like. Is there a lich in? Need to follow these roots. Oh, those, mo those tree fucking monsters. More tracks. Irregular distance between them. Got away somehow, but must have been exhausted. Beasts are of this world. Unlucky ones at that. Wait. <laughs> no signs of predation. Roots choke them to death, it seems. Hopefully whoever left these footprints was luckier. This thing fucking one-tapped the Pookie Pookie with its roots immediately? Oh shit, this must be a crazy legend. Oh wait, he's caught up in the roots. Oh my, a fiver! You sensed I was in trouble and came to rescue me, did you? These roots came out of nowhere and trapped me here. Hmm? Wait, you're not from the Fifth, are you? Name's Geralt of Rivia. I'm a witcher. 
was sent here to look into certain events happened recently in these woods. Ah, oh, yes. The commander spoke of you. You look quite spunky. Well, welcome to the new world. I would shake your hand, but, well, you know. I am a member of the Research Commission, a master of the botanical arts, so to speak. What happened? Roots seem to like you a lot. Uh, I assure you the feeling is not mutual. There I was, minding my business whilst conducting my investigation, when suddenly these roots just leaped out towards me. There was no time to think, so I ran away as fast as my legs could carry me. But these roots are persistent devils. I was able to outmaneuver them for a while, but eventually they cornered me here and, well... I was just in the middle of trying to persuade my captors to release me when you showed up. Mean to say you tried to talk the roots around to your point of view? <laughs> Bit carefree under the circumstances, wouldn't you say? The Commission has quite a capable hunter, you see. This Sapphire Star is the first to arrive at the scene. And exhibits incredible power that never fails to save the day. Our Sapphire Star has saved so many of us in the Commission. I was sure I would be rescued in no time. But perhaps I rely on our hunter too much. Hmm. Think you might have learned your lesson? Lesson? Why, the lesson has yet to begin! There is much research to be done on this phenomenon. Guess not. Need a hand? Please! There are hunters who are in need of my services. This is no time for me to be tied up in roots. All right, but what's in it for me? What? Ah, I had a feeling you would say that. Alas, I don't exactly carry a pouch full of zenny on me at all times. However much you require, I'm sure the commander will gladly compensate you. Would that suffice? Gotta say, you're awfully lively for someone who's trapped in tree roots. We'll talk compensation later. Let's get you free. Don't exactly look like normal tree roots, these. Definitely something strange about them. And, uh, freeing you might cause you some discomfort. Sorry. I leave the method to you. Just get me out of here. Not the safest way, but Igni would take care of those roots right quick. That was incredible! Oh my, I had no idea you were a wizard. <laughs> I'm no wizard. I'm a witcher. Monster slayer. Ah, yes. Forgive me, Master Witcher. Now, what brings you to this part of the forest? Looking for information. So you like plants. So, like plants so much you became a botanist, huh? It's not that simple, I'm afraid. Sometimes it's hard to tell if I love them or hate them. You see, we Wyvarians have a longer lifespan than humans. And when you live for so long, you become aware of certain things. How fleeting life can be, for instance. But plants are different. I can always count on them to be there, no matter how many years pass. In other words, I chose to lead a life with plants so I wouldn't have to bear the pain of seeing my human companions come and go. Call me Craven, if you will. But that was the path I chose to walk. And if that makes me a coward, so be it. Fear of loss. Wouldn't call it cowardly. It's something we all feel. What's amusing is, thanks to my research on plants, I ended up interacting with humans on a daily basis. Plants have brought back to me what I had once thrown away, and I am forever grateful for it. Okay. Why were you attacked? The roots. Why'd they attack you? Any idea? I haven't the faintest. I was recording in my notebook at the time. Notice anything else during the attack? 
in all honesty, once the roots took hold, I thought I would end up as some monster's dinner. But luckily, that didn't happen. You saw them too, yes? Those poor Puke Puke choked to death by the roots? Seems they were untouched by any predators. Guess the roots attack anything that wanders within range. Damn territorial, this thing we're dealing with, whatever it is. Plants can be territorial, but never with such awareness. This is no plants doing. It must be something else. Pookie Pookie. These, uh, Pookie Pookie. What kind of beasts are we talking about? They are large bird wyverns, known for their vividly colorful feathers and scales. They have large, bulgy eyes and surprisingly long tongues, but if you look closely, their features are actually quite charming. You should see one for yourself. <clears throat> Keep my eyes peeled. Saw roots like these on my way here. They common in your world? Absolutely not. I've never seen them before, and I couldn't believe what I was seeing when I actually did. It is true that plants are able to grow rapidly depending on the stage in their life cycle, but they never grow that fast. In our world, people, monsters, plants, they all operate on the same flow of time and energy. Of course, there are natural phenomena, and at times, things can and do grow at abnormal rates. But those roots are something more. I can't think of any logical way to explain it. The only possibility I can think of is that it might be akin to something like that magic of yours. True. Time I was on my way. Try to stay out of trouble, would ya? Might not be around next time to burn you free. Can't always expect hunters to come to your rescue either. All right, you are. I've acquired the samples I need, so I'll remain here on my best behavior. Best of luck to you out there, Master Witcher. Mm hmm. Just try to keep quiet, all right? This is crazy. Mm -hmm. Controls plants and animals, cunning as a hare and fox combined. No doubt about it. This is a lesson's doing. I knew it. That it also transported both me and that Necker to this world. Seems stronger than a normal lesson, though. Abundant life in this forest could be a factor. All right. Need to find its totem. Should be deep in the woods near the center. Map ought to be helpful. All right. Near the center. Current location, points of interest. I can use this to figure out my way around. All right, so we gotta go to section 10. So we got a lesson on steroids. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be crazy. I love how they do it, just like The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, where you got all the little dialogue going on and just non stop fucking voice acting and dialogue options. Huh? Same mannerisms. This has to be the same voice actor for Geralt. Hmm. Inscription of some kind. Can't decipher it. Member of the commission might be able to. Side quest. Find a researcher to... The chief issue in progress. Find a researcher to read the doodles. Medallions humming. Totem must be somewhere around here. Alright. Mm. Leshen's totem. Should be able to lure the Leshen out by destroying it. Huh? I guess it ordered them to attack me, eh? Damn it. Might have known it couldn't possibly be that easy. Fine. I'll cut you down first. Holy shit. We're popping off on him. Come on, come closer. Ever fight a witcher?
Normally I just one tap these with my great sword. gonna make me wait come on Gleshin could hold. Damn it. I didn't know he was going to keep talking. It's quite obvious that Gleshin's magic is super strong. There we go. So sick. Let's do this shit. We're vultures. Igni should do the trick. That all you got? Oh shit! I need to sharpen my sword. Do max potion. All right.
go.
feel like such an idiot. <sighs> Where's the food buffs at? I can't use them. Fuck them. Let's take a max potion. Alright, we're close to them. Not a big deal. That all you got? Are you kidding me? The fucking lizard hit me off of him? It's waning. Die. I can't believe I died on the girl mission. I'm not a true witcher. As soon as you sling your bombs, I like this. The Witcher 3 Igni sign is now available. Are you kidding me? I missed. Go for the lizards. Come on. I kill Looks it? like it's working. Their numbers are thinning. Nice. Oh, come on! This dude's strong. Fuck. That silver. If you could capture this thing, I don't have any trank bombs or traps. So. Oh, it's angry now. 
Have it your way. Let's go. Ooh. Come on. Not the lizard fox. That all you got? Dialogue with Progressing, her. I suppose. You're one of the commission's handlers, right? Wanted to ask you some questions. Of course. Whatever I can do to help. What kind of monsters inhabit this forest? I'm curious. Seems like these woods are home to a lot of different beasts. Can you tell me what kind? All kinds. They come in all shapes and sizes. Let's see. There's Rathalos, King of the Skies, the gluttonous Great Jagras, and the lightning quick Toby Kadachi, just to name a few. Oh, and then there's the vividly colored Puke Puke. Long tail, googly eyes. It's kind of cute in a way. <clears throat> there's also smaller monsters like the herbivorous Aptonoth, as well as Jagras, which travel in packs. What kind of monsters are there in your world? Griffins, werewolves, foglets, to name a few. Noon wraiths that only appear when the sun's at its apex. Whole assortment, really. Wow. They sound like they'd be really difficult to capture. Oh, they are. Easier to just kill them. Tell me about that hunter. That hunter that was with you. Where is she? Haven't seen her around. She's out on assignment. To keep the larger monsters out of the forest. They definitely get in the way of your investigation if they were roaming about like usual. Keeping them out of the whole forest, alone? Must be quite the hunter. She's... how do I put this? One of a kind. First class in everything. Skill, resourcefulness, application. But above all else, she has this amazing willpower to carry out anything she sets her mind to. Damn straight. I interact with many hunters in my line of work, but I've never met one who comes even close to her. Years from now, she'll probably be known as a legendary hero. It's a great time to be alive. Hero, huh? I know someone who would gladly pen a ballad about your hunter. <laughs> really? 
Then I'll be waiting for the day our hunter's exploits become a household tune. They'll be humming it all the way from your world to ours. So long. Good luck out there. I'm actually happy I did that little dialogue. I, was, um, I wasn't expecting to find her here, but... There we go. I want more life before it's too much to fail. I don't want to have to redo this all again. How you like that silver? Got one more max potion, right?
on, come closer. Challenging. Leshen Leshen drew a lot of nutrients out of these woods. These materials are strong. Should deliver them to the commission. Could be useful in their research. And 
the heart of the woods. What's up, Kai Dake? Just doing some you DLC. Our deepest thanks. We couldn't have solved that problem on our own. And thank you for the follow, by the way. It's been an honor, Geralt of Rivia. Thank you for coming to the new world. How will you get back to your world? Leshen's portals, I think. Pretty sure I'll find one still open. Huh. Where's that hunter? While I tended to the Leshen, she cleared the forest of a lot of filth. She's our brightest star, so she's rarely in one place for too long. As soon as that Leshen was taken care of, she was already off on another assignment. She sends her regards. Now then, here's your reward. Hmm. Hefty as that coin is, it can't possibly have any value in my world. Give it to the hunter. I couldn't have killed the Leshen without her help anyway. And this, also for your hunter. What is it? A runestone. Your hunters don't wield any magic of their own. But in our world, magic exists in some objects as a matter of course. If a Leshen ever appears again, tell your hunter to use it to summon flames. All right. Godspeed to you. Take care. Interesting. So the runestone will let me summon flames. And yes, I do recommend Monster Hunter World. It's literally one of the best games ever. It's one of the best modern games right now. It's one of my favorite games of all time. It's amazing. Um, it's a really good grind. I mean, dude, I'm I'm hooked to it. I've been playing it for seven hours straight today. Like that's how that's how good it is. Like it, it gets you. It doesn't. And, it, and it's like. A really good seven hours like it flies by it's a grind yeah it, but it's like in a good way you know like rewarding it makes sense like it, it doesn't really ever feel like it's ever a chore the story is nice and simple right now I just finally made it to the DLC after like putting about like like um, about like 50 hours into the game I finally made it to the DLC as you can see they just had this extra content where you get to play as Gerald of Rivia uh, Pose, the Witcher 3 White Wolf has been added to the field card. Flame manipulation. But yeah, it's the totally team's gathered worth at the main it. Gate. Seems like they're getting ready to go out on an expedition in the forest. Let's see. Like, it's insane how much stuff you could do in this game, too. Like, there's been people who've put, like, hundreds of hours into the game, and, like, even they, they say they haven't completed everything or have done everything, so it's just really good. I have something special just for you. And if you're like hyped for Monster Hunter Wilds like me, then it's really good to invest a lot of time in worlds. This will keep you busy until wilds come. It's really worth the, the content. Really amazing game. You gotta respect Capcom for this one. This is really one of their best things right now. Is this series. Let's see. As a reward, she prepared some spiffy but creepy armor from for your palico. 
I, for one, can't wait <laughs> to see it. So go out and catch that critter. I should have read all that dialogue. Necker card, Necker card armor. Oh, so that'll be for my Palico. That's sick. I guess it uh, gives my Palico armor that will look like a, the creatures from the Witcher, the Neckers. So let's go to the workshop and see if I unlocked new armor and shit. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Armor. Is there any Leshen armor? Wait. What's this armor set? I've never seen this before. Death. Death stench. Never seen this armor set before. Fortify, dragon attack. Seems like an interesting armor set. What's this? Kadachi. Not worried about that. Okay, how about Palico armor? Uh, Forge Palico equipment. Let's see if I could uh, give my Palico any new armor sets. This is a weapon. Interesting. This weapon would actually benefit my palico a lot. And the armor set for it looks insane. Holy shit. This is crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna upgrade my palico's armor set, I think. How do I use the new armor set? The Witcher one. I don't see it on here. Got any other questions? Uh, Kai Dig. I'm fixing to get off and. Start watching some anime. I've been playing this for like seven hours. Right now, this is kind of a good stopping point for me. You know what I mean? Let's see here. Oh! I'll keep messing with some of my equipment. Glider mantle. But I could equip two of these bitches. Interesting. Two mat, two of these mantles. Let's see here.
think in order for me to unlock that new Palico armor, I have to do a quest. Now that I'm thinking about it. For now, let me see. Let's upgrade this shit with um, one of the stuff we got here. Give him an Urgigante set for now. This does ice damage though. Pelico, a whole new armor set. Oh yeah, he looks dope as fuck. That's so good. Continue the DLC another time. Let me just go to the research base to um, grab some materials really quick. All right. Do your best. Let's see. What did we get here? Nice adamant seeds are good. The wing drake hides, I guess that's alright. And the devil ho scale, that's alright. Hmm? Hello. Alright, let's deploy more. Let's see. Okay, these have overall good skills. Yeah, we're sending these fuckers. 100%. Where do we want to send them? Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Coral Highlands Route A seems like a good one to throw them on. Take a gamble on that. Oh shit. Yeah, I send them to Coral Highland Route A. Received 
Either use the hunter re rune stone you receive from girl from your item pouch. Perform the Witcher 3 flame manipulation. Let's watch the, the video. Oh my god, that's so sick. So we could use the Igni sign. Alright. And do we not have it in my pouch? It's not in my pouch right now. Where the fuck is it? There it is. Amazing. And then let's have an admit see just cuz. Yeah. All right, we're good. I'm gonna save it and we'll continue this another time.